Hello and welcome my friends. It's time, it's time. It's the Soft Hawk Banks, something like that, against the 100 Thieves. Can NA beat Japan's LJL or PCS, whatever you want to say, team, and redeem themselves, find back a bit of their honor? Or is it going to be bye-bye, near airport, speed run, and uh, yeah, just a quick disappointing end of the year. Um, honestly, I, I hope not. I, I think this quit guy is pretty good. I want to see him redeem himself after what he did last time. And well, let's go into the draft because I think he has picked himself up a Yone. And yeah, I mean, if there's a mid lane carry right now that can absolutely destroy everything, it's Yone, right? Sure, there's Smolder, but that's a different type of carry. Anyway, we have Aurora first pick, Aurora comes through. And then we have Azrael Poppy. So Poppy, obviously, he is still a flex. And on the other side, we see Renekton and obviously the Yon. So Poppy value goes up. Kaiser doesn't have a dash, so at least that's not something. But hmm? Kaiser, Yon, Renekton, that sounds like... Mm -hmm, yeah, it sounds like Uga Booga Zack Zack. We are rushing in. So champions like Poppy are really nice. And overall... Yeah, Braum is being banned, so Poppy Jungle Braum would have been amazing. Like, that would have been really good, right? That duo could have stopped Hunger Thieves in their tracks before they can even do anything. Sure, they, with the Aurora, with the Ezreal, they could have run into some, like, damage issues. Sure, they're slippery, but you still need to kill them. Um, so, well, maybe if they're CC, then that would have been okay. What the fuck is this Akali pick? Um, I get it, right? Akali um, versus the Yon, that is perceived as a good matchup it, it it is for the laning phase in my eyes at least as well but it's still yon right if played correctly he's still going to beat you right they have the kaiser leona that's a bot lane that kicks your teeth in and that means uh yeah leona will face the poppy and that's at least not the best matchup for them so i think ssg's uh bot lane is super safe here and uh yeah maybe let's listen to what the casters have to say maybe they have some cool intel but uh yeah i mean they could Put the Renekton, they could flex the Yon, right? They could go in either mid lane or top lane here, honestly. Uh, pick your poison, right? Who's going to lose to Akali uh, harder? Um, but yeah, I think uh, the best idea would be to put Quit onto the Yon, right? Better player, and then Sniper, just having him being chilling with the Renekton. Uh, yeah, both mid, uh, both solo lane matchups, not really that great for Hungry Thieves here, even though they have the red side counter pick advantage. Yeah, picking, this, uh, picking just their solo lanes face up. Yeah, who knew that would end up in some issues, right? They have the brand, another short range champion. So, yeah, SSG, they could have really played on range. They really could have played on kite back. And they would have probably thematically countered at least Hungry Thieves draft completely. But they chose some short range champions, right? The Wukong, obviously pretty good, right? Setting up them team fights, right? Because they lacked some engage, which you want at least some, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they also have the Aurora, right, which is, like, an insane setup to it. But, like, I don't know, do you want to, like, engage with Aurora into, like, Renekton, Yon and all of that? It's a bit rough. It's a bit rough. So, uh, yeah, SSG, I think they are in a fine position, right? They have, like, they should have winning solo lanes. Their bot lane is super safe. Sure, you still can get blown up if misplayed, right? The early game damage um, from Tomo and Elia is just that high um but yeah we'll have to see we'll have to see especially we put our eyes on the mid lane matchup quit please perform but uh yeah he's facing dasher another super talented ad carry again the ad carry pool and play in stage is absolutely crazy like is that like there's no bad ad carry uh ad carry i mean ad carries are decently good as well here but uh, there's no bad mid laner in, at this event it's just crazy they're so good at like three four minutes here just before the laning phase is going to end to do the swaps and you know and you know if we take a look at it right sure the uh, ssg solo lanes are ahead in cs but well quit has been really putting up a show right really punishing him and uh yeah turning this matchup around right usually this akali like is a bit of a bully right with a q with the empowered auto attack but uh, yeah, what I mentioned, Yon, if played well, he can just kill, not kill you also, but he is just pushing you. He has so much power, crazy champion. And here in top lane, like Sniper also, well, sure, Lucas HP bar, not so good, but he gets to push out the wave. And uh, especially with River around, he has to, yeah, feel safe doing so. 
So overall, 100 Thieves, they, they play the lanes out well, right? Bot lane also ahead. Oh, yeah, global power ranking, 53 versus 35, a bit of a numbers uh, game here. But it's like, let's take a look at this. Is this game a game where like one team is 20, what is it, 20, is it 23? No, it's 18, 18, what is it, uh, 18 ranks ahead, is Hungry Deep 18 ranks ahead of the Hawks? Uh, okay, well, well, I mean, I guess uh, the Hawks just got 2 0 by Gam, and on the other side, Hungry Thieves did not get 2 0 so maybe that goes for them, but a bit crazy. Like, these power rankings are a bit wild. I mean, I, I have to I have to look at that. Maybe before, uh, before the main event, we can take a look at the official Riot Games power rankings, and then uh, maybe we'll do some power rankings ourselves for the main event. Well, 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 that's at least a nice idea, I guess. Okay, flash forward, there is River with the ult and this uh, sacrificial lamp dies and that's first blood for Tomo coming in. And uh, yeah, let's see, let's see, the Rukong, well, he finds him. And there's the Cyclone, there's the Stun, there's another Q and there's the next Cyclone and that's Forest beating the River. Someone funny probably can make a good joke here, but uh, that's not me. That's not me. Anyway, 1-1 one, one the scoreline and uh, yeah, nice Wukong uh, acceleration here. Static shift item is absolutely crazy, man. I, like the damage numbers I see under that item, you just uh, you just ask yourself why. What the hell is Evie doing there? Bro, sure, Elias ult came uh, came like across as well, but. He just stood in uh, the face of this. Oh, Forrest just walks into this. Hello, you're on the back foot. Your like, uh, friend has already been killed. And Akali was forced to like ult away and so on and so on. Like, uh, you're overcooking here. Like, chill, chill. But uh, yeah. Yo, I, I said you need to chill. Just, uh, oh, actually, this is not too bad. Um, you can either play for mid lane turret here, or you can play for uh, what is it? Um, this thing, thingy, Harold. This guy is—he's not missing minions, and that's one of the biggest uh, traits that you ever want on uh, on a player, right? Because that just means he has like more gold than anyone else. Anyway, Ella, Ella has to flash away. There's the forest ult. Uh, Evie, that ult was not the greatest, but hey, you forced them back, and well, not everyone got the message to leave the area. Both junglers die, so is it River or is it Forest who wins this one? Well, we'll have to look at the scoreboard. It's 2-1 and it's 1-2-1, so I'd say that's the Forest W, right? Anyway, overall, uh, obviously a 1-2 trade for the Hawks. Okay, no, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. They have nothing really. The Herald is obviously the next objective. There is a dragon though, and I mean, it's Mountain, so I prioritize this Mountain Dragon and like Mountain Soul way 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 more than uh, like just a single herald especially if you look at the the relevant turrets the mid lane turrets um in most cases they're still pretty healthy oh we're looking for a play here old comes in old comes in there's evi also dashing away there's someone getting sent home no it actually it missed and hit the minions which will result in the uh yeah in the first kill of this extended fight well is it going to be a fight Anyway, Forest dies and River lives, so that's a big win for, for that type of landscape. But do they still have the cooldowns here left to fight, right? Dasher has ult, and sure, they, like, the Forest is not here yet, but it's going to be a bit rough, right? If you look at the positioning, it's uh, a yeah, hundred thieves rather split up, but uh, yeah, the Hawks are respecting, the Hawks are respecting. But do they not know that they have like like ult advantage on, on Dasher? Do they not care? Well, I guess it's respectable to just play like calm and for the mid lane turret. No need to like overforce, right? You already lost. Oh, River here gets found. There's the old. Oh, nice flash and Dasher gets caught and then. Oh, wait. Sniper takes the kill. Mini. But uh, yeah, I mean, good news. The Yone has not found a kill yet, but bad news. Hey, you're 2000 gold down. The enemy team has stacked up two dragons already. And. Oh, 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 oh. You need to be careful here. Forest is around. Du, 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 du. But there are multiple people around. There's the Renekton. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Ooga, booga. 
And yeah, Evi again been, uses the ult defensively. They get the kill onto the Leona. Dasher ults in as well, but there's also Tomo. It's just a fucking, uh, like, it's not an A ram, but it's an A bot lane, man. They really want to defend this turret. The next TP comes in. Evi is there, picks it up for Vista, or lines it up, whatever you want to say. There's the ult. Boom, text Tomo. And uh, yeah, Yon, by the way, cool champion, right? <laughs> But yeah, big win. Uh, just don't look topside, right? Don't look uh, brands, yes. Actually, it's not that bad. Setting up here for the next turret. La 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 la. And yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Um, yeah, nice. Obviously, a bit of a downtime, right? No objective really to fight for. Baron is out of reach for both teams, really. Sure, they have some damage, but uh, yeah, it's just not enough. R maybe the brand team with Yon can do something here, but yeah. Uh, two item spike on the other side, Ezreal a bit more, a bit farther away from his next one. He has probably some gold in, uh, in his pocket, but yeah. And then top lane, Evi, he doesn't have the Zonia's finish, but he has the uh, uh, Seekers, so that's good for him. And uh, yeah, while uh, the Hawks really set up the vision around Baron, it's just not an objective that you can realistically do just like that. And that means Hungry Thieves, they just pick up Soul Point for <laughs> fucking Mountain Dragon. And like Mountain Dragon is so insane in general, but especially in with these comps, right? Especially in the meta where people are building items like the Storm Surge, really, yeah, it just really works well because flat penetration obviously like it gets giga shafted by Mountain Dragon. Like, okay, okay. I mean, again, the Hawks, uh, yeah, they they can just farm up and farm up and farm up. And I mean, the gold lead is not a big deal, but the big deal is there's a Yone. The next big deal is like, hey. They have mountain dragons, and the next thing is your champions are kinda bad against big resistances, right? Evi is an old bot, his damage is kinda limited, uh, even with more items, right? Sure, the old can like find one shots, but uh, that got kinda nerfed a, a bit, right? It's. Yeah, okay, yeah, great, great fucking time. This Yon champion just jumps on the turret and chunks my jungler. Jungler has to back away and like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, Orcs set up for Baron and, well, Hungry Thieves, they just decide to do it, right? One team thinks about doing something and the other one just does it. And maybe they can find something here at the end, right? Evie finds a decent ult, but uh, not everyone is there. Forest took a while to get here. There's the TP in at the side, but even 4v5, they're losing this fight. Dasher here goes in. Elia, Elia, oh my god, that guy lives with 5 HP. And uh, yeah, that should be the game here, really. Baron plus 4 kills. Can we can we cut into game number two or do we just have to watch uh, Hunger Thieves Massacre these guys now a bit more? Yeah, I, 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 I mean that was just this is just now uh, yeah, a bit ridiculous, right? It's just really outclassing them, right? They know oh jungler is not here. They have obviously high Baron damage with their team of the Aurora in these team comps, right? We see her engaged, right? We see her old in, but where's step two? Where's step two? Sure, River was not there, but well, that's part of the issue, right? Here again, Evi goes in. Now Forest is there, so that is part two, and they should be able to get something. But look at mid lane. They get just quit. They just get quit. They use all their resources, and oh, Forest is actually being chased down by the River. Uh, yeah, that's words that we say, and yeah. Sniper is just playing the top lane, greatest dreams of, hey, no enemies, just turrets, just minions. <sighs> He's finding inner peace. And yeah, Evie is chasing him and that's soul. I actually don't really want to watch this game anymore. It's just pretty depressing here from uh, from Hawk's perspective, right? I mean, any hope really was like lost when uh, they started giving over three objectives to Hungry Thieves. And uh, with these three objectives came obviously, like, yeah. Okay, Evi again looks for a play. Tomo doesn't have the Zonias, but they also have no damage. Like, they even they don't even get to Tomo. Akali just gets killed before she can do anything. Quit doesn't even have to do something. The Akali and the friends are just so useless. Against Mountain Dragon, against Mountain Soul, it's just absolutely disgusting. And, uh, yeah. Sniper, as the bouncer, just has to stand there. It's just really pathetic. 
No, I'm not pathetic, it's just really pitif pitiful is the word. Sorry, sorry, not pathetic, that's something completely different. It's just really pitiful how, uh, how uh, like the Hawks crumbled to indecisiveness, really. They weren't willing to do anything, picking something like the Akali, right, and it's like not not making any plays, right? They weren't trying to attack Yon, they weren't trying to get her ahead, and uh, yeah. Then on the back foot, right, they left Hunger Thieves all the options, right? They made the plays, quit uh, chunked out here, quit Gusta does that. And then, hey, suddenly you're ahead, suddenly the enemy champions just lose to the dragons stacking, and that's kinda it. Yeah, let's see. Quick to all, I assume. Okay, coming into game number two. Very sad game number one, but just really sad to watch, right? It's just, uh, it was such a sad watch. Like, I mean, I don't know, I, obviously, like, I am, like, cloud biased, right? I want to see some crazy things going on. So uh, that that kind of uh, goes in line with uh, the Hawks at least doing something. I want Quid to perform, but it's like couldn't even say, oh yeah, Quid masterclass or something. It's just like, oh yeah, like he and his teammates are just ten times better than the opponent, and they they just have play with confidence. And the other team picks champions that need confidence, that need agency, that need to do something, and they don't do anything, and then they just like, just lose quietly they, without really even trying. And well, they try, but. When the time has already run out, right? When the cookie has crumbled. Regardless, we look at the champions. Our run has been banned, so they don't want to pick it themselves anymore. On the other side, Skarner and some other champions. Whatever. It's first pick fucking Sejuani. Like, okay. Forest. Yeah. Says he doesn't want to do anything crazy, but... Well, I mean, the, the Wukong is not that crazy anyway. We see another Renekton pick, and is it going to be punished? Well, the Aurora certainly didn't do jack shit there. Uh, next to it is the Ash, right? It's like, why is the Sejuani the first pick above the Ash? Well, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Sure, there are some jungle bands actually, too. But, eh. Is that really that small of a champion pool? Wait, wait! Yo, if this is the last game... Wait, re that, that's Rek'Sai locked in? Sure, maybe... I mean, that should be top lane. That should that should be uh, top lane. Well, actually, like, who knows? That should be could be anything. Sejuani could be a jungle, top lane, or support. Never mind, there's the Alistair. So Sejuani still can go top lane or jungle, and same goes for the Rek'Sai, right? Um, but yeah, they have Jin, they have Syndra, they have Sejuani, they have Alistair, right? This Hawks comp, again, you look at it, it doesn't look bad, it doesn't look bad. Sure, some DPS problems, but they have burst damage and they have pick, so that's good. We look at the other side, hey, they're immobile champions, maybe that's not too bad. And uh, sure, the Braum is pretty good against like some options, right? Really good with his door and with like his passive. They have the Ash next to us, so... Like, if Hawks really want to play, if really want to move, it's going to be difficult. But the really difficult thing is, obviously, if River and Quid can align and set up the fearsome Nocturne Oriana combo, and then you have an Ash Arrow flying behind it. Ooh, Hungry Thieves, they have, again, very good tools here to make things happen. But hey, maybe the Rek'Sai can cook. Maybe hung uh, maybe the Hawks can play with a bit more confidence in their champions, in themselves, and make things happen. We'll have to see, we'll have to see, and for an exciting game, we also have to hope that. Okay, let's see. Uh, anything crazy here? Anyone swapping away from some matchups? Uh, Evi, you are far, 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 far away from top lane. I guess he's fast enough with uh, his like movement speed in his unborrowed form. But uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Sets up a defensive ward. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's see, let's see. I have no idea how Rek'Sai uh, against Renekton goes. Uh, if you see Rek'Sai, it's like, I mean, they, it, was it this year where Rek'Sai top lane was meta? Was it at the beginning of this year? Or was it at the end of last year or something like that? Uh, in any case, it was pretty annoying. But uh, we'll have to see. Level 2 reach for Sniper because, well, that guy is in lane and Evie was just chilling around. But yeah, I mean, the sustain of this champion is crazy. Uh, she has like really good damage potential as well. And uh, yeah, that's like that's a bit about the positives. Your dasher should have the advantage in this mid lane matchup simply due to this uh, fact that hey, one guy has elected a T1 skin and the other one has not. Anyway, T1 uh, skin check, right? There is Oriana, there is Renekton, so that's potentially two. And on the other side, Alistar. Oh, dasher, dasher, watch out! There's a Q coming up. There's a yeah. You have to flash, you have to flash. The Q was uh, just a couple of moments away. 
and yeah, you have to eviscerate. Okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, Sniper also didn't pick up the uh, T1 skin. It's just sad, it's just sad. Both TP in, so yeah, Quid gets the flash. And uh, yeah, that should be about it. Ooh, Evie does not get the big bite in, but well, I guess with the rage, she also gets the heal. It's such a oppressive champion in top lane. I'm decently happy that it's not around anymore. It was, uh, it's just annoying. But hey, we need to take a look at the bot lane. Do we have like T1 skins there? Oh, river, river, river. Dasher has no flash. And there's the flash fear. Who he gets the E off. Very nicely done there. River maybe a bit too uh, too antsy, right? River and Quit like standing next to each other. Oh, Elia gets insect and gets killed as well. First blood for Marble. Okay, okay, okay. Nicely set up. Forest making something something happen. Uh, yeah, two flashes for two flashes. Equal exchange and they uh, get the kill. So good for them, good for them. Top lane matchup so far so good, right? Has some control here, I would assume. Very nice, very nice. So the Hawks, right? With some of the, uh, uh, let's just say early power they have. Playing fine and uh, yeah, pretty nice. Tremor sense. That's uh, why historically Rek'Sai was such a good, oh man, Rek'Sai in 2015-16 with the global old, uh, it's so fun. Let's see, there's the old, there's the flash, and yeah, I don't know why the hell, like I was talking about, oh yeah, like Hawks have some early power, it's like, oh, they're cool, but yeah, I mean, the early power is not if you go in 1v3 into, like, oh, I'm so mad, I'm so mad, like the worst champions on Hawks, like, composition or, like, side are the Rek'Sai and kind of the Sejuani, pause, right because when they run into hunger thieves they're just getting like cc'd slowed and then killed right all, all at the same time and they do exactly that without playing around their strong suit right marble was in bot lane farming minions that's his job he's an ad carry right and like dasher was still chilling in mid lane right these are like your strong points especially right now but no let's just run in give over two kills to the Oriana and to the uh, to the river, right? It's, yeah, 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 yeah. You should not like at this point in the game they shouldn't be that far behind, far uh, far behind. But hey, because they were fishing for plays. Jungle is far behind in terms of CS. There's the combo, and first one is dead. Dash's ult absolutely does no damage whatsoever. Forest here trying to do something. Sniper, yeah, kind of a bit too far forward, but. Is it too far forward? Does Dasher find the damage? Yes, he does. Abby as well, and yeah, Hunger Thieves, uh, yeah, also uh, too deep. So that equalizes it a bit. Both teams, I guess, kind of incompetent at that point, right? Playing away from their strong suits, but yeah, again, right? Because of, uh, yeah, Hunger Thieves playing better and the Hawks fishing for plays across the board besides mid lane, Everyone is down in CS by a big margin, which obviously results in also item leads and so on and so on and XP leads. So that makes these fights pretty hard and sure, uh, it's just grouping up in a corridor against Oriana ult. A story at all this time. And it's even obviously like more fierce when it's paired up with the Nocturne and Gage, right? There's just not too much they, they can do. Okay, here they find a little bit of a pick to Elia, and well, they didn't get the perfect Oriana combo, but that's quit finding a kill onto Dasher, and now cooldowns have been used onto Elia, right? It's got a, a one for one, but uh, not anymore, and now it's a two for one, and it's next to the objective. Tomoya may be caught. Do they have enough damage to burst him down? The answer is yes, but it's not enough in time. And people are following. Avi, is this going to be enough? Quit flashes forward and gets away from the W as well. That would have rooted him on the turret or, well, I mean, it would have just killed him. So, yeah, they trade another kills, uh, set of kills over. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's just it's just really rough. Ooh, let's see, let's see. Dasher here caught by River. And I mean, there is not much you can do. And oh, sniper flashes follows. 
charges and yeah, just slices and dices. Tomo finds Vista and this game is getting out of hand very very fast. This is, uh, hopefully I said it, but this is something that is pretty expectable, right? Both sides have picked tools, right? If one team gets ahead, it would have resulted in exactly this. Picks after picks after picks. And yeah, 100 Thieves, right? 5-11 scoreline, 6,000 gold lead after this turret has fallen. They pick up the Herald in the top side. They open up the mid lane, right? Allowing them to generate even more plays on this open map. And uh, yeah, it looks like a great game for Quid. River again, looking great in all of these games really so far at this event. And uh, Sure, Tomo, Elia getting caught here and there, right? Some of the inexperienced shows, but overall they continue with like the solid performance that we saw here and there in an A, right? And uh, yeah, the Hawks, it's not exactly the same uh, like issues that we saw with Vikings just a couple moments ago, right? In their series against Pain, where like it's good mechanics, but the macro is just not on par with... Uh, oh, Sniper here kind of getting caught, but oh, there's the wall and oh my oh my It's just it's just too much. It's just too much river right clicks dasher and dasher just dies Very sad Every here tries to make plays onto quit, but uh Nope, it's just not enough And yep another kill 5-0 and 6 4-0 and 8. It's an absolute destruction here in the later game It's not even late game in the mid game here for the 100 Thieves lineup, absolutely uh, great for them to, like, after all the the hate they received, understandably so, right? Uh, ooh, no, not enough. Uh, right? Picking themselves up, right? Not falling down into doubt or into, like, despair or, like, whatever, right? No, they believe in themselves and, uh, well, they pick up their pieces from the last time. Quit here falls to Dasher. That's uh, an honorable death, right? Dying to someone as good as Dasher is not bad. Um, yeah, forced by some space, but oh, they don't have enough damage for Sniper. There's the old, and he charges back in, and yep. Oh, maybe it's enough Dasher. There's no slice left, but he also has no old. Can he find another scatter of the week? You have to hold your cooldown here, otherwise, oh, yeah, get to return engaged. There's this, there's that. Can they find the kill? Yes, much needed kills, much needed confidence gains. But uh, I've bad news for you, it won't matter, it won't matter. They still lose the dragon, they just get some kills, they get some shutdowns, much needed. And uh, here we see the idea of Hawks, right? Like they, it's, it's the same thing, they did literally the same thing that Hunger Thieves did, does, whatever, all game, right? Picking up a member one by one while caught in rotation and then fighting on the uh, numbers advantage, finding another pick. Here, Ooh, nice flash by Quid. But uh, yeah, I mean, we, we take a look at it, right? Dasher, if you find someone, he can blow them up. Jin, right? He has the, the two energized combo that's going to do a good amount of damage. And Evie and friends exist. That's all about that, right? Hey, good enough, good enough. It looks like it's going to end in a loss. Oh, and here it is again. There is just no counterplay. Ay, ay, ay. The counterplay is obviously the others fucking it up. And it's not the easiest combo in the world, right? I remember, like, the last time this combo was, let's call it, meta. Um, it was fucked up quite a couple of times by all kinds of teams, right? But, uh, yeah. Gam doing well with it. And, oh, Sniper flashes in here, buys the space. Quit, does he have the, no, obviously he doesn't have the ult, but just enough. They just pile on them and they destroy them. And, yeah, they do the dragon, uh, the Baron just with two members. It's enough, right? Three men, they don't only bounce them off, they also pick up two kills. And the gold lead is extended, the kill lead is extended. And, uh, yeah, let's see this Baron power play. It's going to probably mark the end of the Hawks, right? Very sad, man. Hawks and Vikings teams I had ho high hopes for because of how great like uh, they looked, right? How good they played during the regular split, during like the summer, uh, due to the level of players they have. But when it comes to the League of Legends gameplay on the big stage, right? Um, it's just rough, right? 
I mean, like for Hawks, for Hawks, I have excuses, right? They face uh, a gam and a gam that is looking better than ever, right? A gam that look is, looks insane. So they face a super strong gam. You're, like they weren't expected to beat them, uh, like I think for anyone. And then they face Mad. Uh, no, and then they face Hungry Thieves, like another major region team, right? A team that I still put ahead of them in the in the power rankings, not by a lot, but uh, still by like some somewhat. So Haw Hawks losing like against these teams, that's the kind of to be expected. They're getting kind of rolled by both of them, 2-0, 2-0. That's not expected. That's not okay. That's sad, really. Um, but yeah, Vikings, obviously, they look absolutely lost, especially like today against Payne. Sure, Payne played really well, right? It's a case of one team maybe not really finding their form at this event, but it's also a case of uh, like other players absolutely performing. That's what we saw with Matt, with especially their bot lane, Alvarov absolutely looking really good, Elioya finding some form, and that's also what we saw with Brazil, right? We, I knew they were like really solid players, but hey, they stepped up and played above solid, right? They played really fine. And uh, yeah, while I'm rambling on about like other teams, right, this is because this is going to be the end of the Hawks, right? We wave goodbye, we wave goodbye, thank you for some really nice games, thank you for trying. Again, to point out, like this Dasher guy can be really good, Forrest, sure, today wasn't really his day, but uh, yeah, there's also someone like maybe that we can keep our eyes on, it's going to be the end of them. And uh, yeah, we hope to see them uh, in the new uh, PCS uh, Pacific region, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, thumbs up for Hungry Thieves. They pick themselves up after all the flame, after the disappointing loss. And uh, yeah, they are going to face... Are they going to face PSG? I'm kind of confusing how this bracket works. But uh, yeah, they, yeah they, they can't face R7. So it's going to be Hungry Thieves versus uh, PSG. That's going to be an absolute banger. Like, who would have expected that these two teams are going to play and only one of them can advance to the, to the next stage? That's crazy. That's really not what we expected coming into this event, I, I assume, right? It's going to be, uh, yeah, sad. I, I'm really, like, I'm a quit enjoyer. Yes. But, uh, like, come on, PSG. You can't let me down. Uh, I mean, I really want to, to see... Uh, I really want to see PSG, like, play at the Swiss stage. I really want to see that. Uh, and yeah, the Hawks, again, really good performance like this summer, making it to Worlds uh, is already super hard for them. They dominated Japan, absolutely destroyed the competition, right? The, the DFM squad, uh, sure, it's not the same as like always, um, but they beat them and everyone else convincingly then made it through the very hard PCS region to come to Worlds. Sadly, two, two, uh, two O2s, not what we and not what they wanted to see, but uh, yeah, again, we're going to have to see what is, uh, yeah, what's going to be the future for the VCS, PCS, for these regions, and uh, yeah, we can just hope that Riot Games is going to uh, do something well there. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, hope you enjoyed, see yourself with the next one, bye bye my friends.